welcome to the next class how to use a dictionary unit 3 chapter 7 what is a dictionary dictionary means a book or electronic resource that lists the words of a language typically in alphabetical order and gives their meaning or gives the equivalent words in a different language often also providing information about pronunciation origin and usage a good dictionary is an essential tool for any language learner it can however be difficult to use and not all language learners fully understand how a dictionary works or the best type to use this section will consider different types of dictionary and the advantages and disadvantages of each as well as looking at the features of a good dictionary. It concludes by looking at ways to improve dictionary use. Okay, this is a practice activity, free reading activity. What do you do when you come across a difficult word or a phrase? this question to you so if I, if this question to me then i answer definitely i refer the dictionary next question what do you do when you do not know the appropriate word to describe something if i am asked to this question Definitely, I say I refer dictionary as well as the thesaurus. Next, what do you do when you want to know the pronunciation of a word? My answer is definitely I refer dictionary. what do you expect from a dictionary so based on the above questions i expect from the dictionary meanings pronunciation finding appropriate word etc next activity one read the following episodes and guess the meaning of the words given at the end of each episode. The question is clear. Guess the meaning. Guess the meaning of words given at the end of each episode. First one. Two boys were arguing when their grandfather entered the room. Grandfather says, why are you arguing? One boy answers, we found a $10 bill. That means it is using US word. We can consider it as a $10 currency note. We found a $10 bill and decided to give it to whoever tells the biggest lie. You should be ashamed of yourself, said the grandfather. When I was of your age, I did not even know what a lie was. The boys gave the $10 to the grandfather immediately. Okay, now guess the meanings of the given words. Argue, bill, lie, 
ashamed okay i think you guessed the meaning now i give you the real answer what it is means argue argue means exchange or express diverging or opposite views different views thoughts sharing different thoughts typically in a heated or angry way serious seriously next bill bill means a printed or written statement of the money owed for goods or services in one more meaning a bank note there are different meanings are there next lie generally lie has two meanings one is be in or assume a horizontal or resting position on a supporting surface sleeping me in a in a mode of a sleeping when you sleep you lie down on the bed like that next one is a false statement made with a deliberate intent to deceive and intentional untruth so the actual answer is second one in the discussion okay <clears throat> one more is there ashamed you identify it next a man goes to the doctor and says doctor wherever i touch it hurts the doctor asks what do you mean the man says when i touch my shoulder it really hurts when i touch my knee ouch when i touch my forehead it really really hurts the doctor says i know what's wrong with you you have broken your finger the problem is not in your body the problem is in your finger the finger is broken okay here hurt knee forehead ouch guess the meaning okay <clears throat> i give the meanings from the dictionary when you read any paragraph when you are trying to learn new words don't hurry don't always don't go for dictionary always don't try to get the meaning don't try to learn the meaning from the dictionary first try guess the meaning okay hurt to cause bodily pain to or in uh, to cause bodily injury to injure next knee the joint of the leg that allows for movement for movement <clears throat> movement means moving one okay forehead the part of the face above the eyebrows bro next ouch used as an exclamation expressing sudden pain or dismay this means pain okay here dictionary means according to the chapter a dictionary is a reference book containing a list of words of a language arranged in alphabetical order along with the information about them it helps the learners understand various words and developing their vocabulary dictionaries come in all shapes and sizes some of them are little dictionaries school dictionaries pocket dictionaries concise dictionaries compact dictionaries mini dictionaries and advanced learners dictionaries so here in your examination point of view you get one mark question or three mark question what is dictionary then you have to write uh, this answer dictionary is a reference book containing list of words of a language arranged in alphabetical order along with information about them 
what are the different types of dictionaries then little dictionary school dictionary pocket dictionary concise dictionary compact dictionary mini dictionary advanced learners dictionaries in that way next kinds of dictionaries in your examination three marks or five marks question generally this question comes write the different kinds of dictionaries explain the different kinds of dictionaries there are several kinds of dictionaries available in the market some dictionaries are used for general purpose some dictionaries for scholarly purpose and some other are for specialized purpose each dictionary is compiled with a particular set of users in mind for a specific purpose some medical students they use specific dictionary some law related to law they use law dictionary mathematics mathematics dictionary computer computer dictionary so the major kinds of dictionaries are <clears throat> number 1 general dictionary it is useful for all it gives the general meaning or meaning of a word example oxford dictionary of english next specialized dictionary it focuses on a specific subject area example merriam webster's medical dictionary so all medical terminology words are there in the dictionary some words may not be available in general dictionary so that those words available in medical dictionary next etymological dictionary in your examination one more question may ask what is etymological dictionary what is there what will be there in the etymological dictionary it describes the origin and development of a word origin and development of a word how it was origin was developed <clears throat> origin how it was coined the word who coined the word how it was coined on what purpose it was coined created so most of the large dictionaries provide the etymological information of a word however there are a few dictionaries exclusively designed for providing etymological information one example oxford dictionary of english etymology etymology oxford dictionary of english etymology next one illustrated dictionary it is not just about words it contains pictures it is useful to the children in visualizing the concept sometimes we may not understand the meaning exactly but when we see the picture we clearly understand it so generally kids children use illustrated dictionary so in our a uh, private uh, telegram channel i have provided a uh, number of uh, illustrated dictionaries uh, related number different different uh, <clears throat> areas so you can go there refer join the pers my personal telegram channel i will write here the name telegram channel so if you search by the given phrase you will see one uh, telegram channel the deep photo is you will see my name niranjan in dp okay reverse dictionary it is also available in our uh, telegram channel reverse dictionary oxford reverse dictionary it helps the reader to find the appropriate word by describing the concept 
you know the concept but you don't know the exact word then you can identify <clears throat> that word by following the reverse dictionary next bilingual dictionary bi means two lingual means language two language dictionary it gives the meanings of words in a specified language example english english telugu dictionary published by d bos and bros one example only this is next a rhyming dictionary in this dictionary words are categorized into equivalent classes that consist of words that rhyme with one another it is useful in writing poetry and lyrics example merriam webster's rhyming dictionary next monolingual or explanatory dictionary it gives a detailed explanation of a word with additional information it is useful to the advanced learners or the native speakers of that language example oxford advanced learners dictionary langman dictionary of contemporary english or collins co build english dictionary or cambridge advanced learners dictionary only english okay next thesaurus it is a dictionary of synonyms and antonyms you get the number of synonyms suppose <coughs> uh, fear fear is the word you want to get the synonyms so fear afraid scared frightened there are number of words will be there in the same place next the example oxford thesaurus of english you will get this you can get download you can download this from our telegram channel next electronic dictionary intel it is latest trend mobiles and laptops it is in digital form it is available on the internet or world wide web www the www and can be accessed through a web browser it also can be installed on a desktop computer or laptop or mobile example merriam webster online dictionary next idioms dictionary it describes the metaphorical meaning of an idiom how we use the word so metaphorical means metaphors figure in figures of speech simile metaphor oxymoron like that number of um, um, figures of speech are there in that metaphor means comparison so generally these metaphors we see in poems songs he is the lion in the battle in that way he is like a lion in the bat battle is simile okay langman idioms dictionary is one example next pronunciation dictionary it gives the phonetic transcription of the words how to pronounce a word that is example langman pronunciation dictionary the number of dictionaries are there next encyclopedia dictionary it discusses a wide range of topics arranged alphabetically example the oxford encyclopedic english dictionary everything will be there with the general knowledge also general information next activity 2 do you have a dictionary at home if your answer is yes describe it in a couple of sentences how is your dictionary so you have to describe it because you have the dictionary your dictionary next if your answer is no which dictionary you would like to buy give the reasons okay i have given some model answer here my dictionary is very big words are arranged in alphabetical order it gives spellings pronunciation parts of speech synonyms antonyms and usage in sentence form that means oxford advanced learners dictionary 
suppose if i want to buy one more dictionary i will buy the same that kind of dictionary only if anybody asks me suggest please suggest me one uh, good dictionary then i say oxford advanced learners dictionary next which dictionary would you like to buy if you want to present a dictionary to your sister who is in 8th class give the reasons generally 8th class standard advanced learner advanced learners dictionary is not suitable they may not follow so oxford dictionary standard dictionary is enough so that is the reason next okay we have the dictionary we purchased the dictionary now how to use the dictionary how to locate a word in a dictionary so this is very very important question in your three marks question one mark question five mark questions in everywhere you see this question without this question you will not get the question paper that is the standard of the question so if you miss this part you miss the marks ultimately there is no other way clear it is clear you lose the marks if you lose if you do not concentrate on this topic so how to locate a word okay how to locate a word in a dictionary it is a skill Lo locating a word is not a theory subject it is a skill subject it is a skill that you need to practice you need to know the spelling of a word first okay before you locate it if you don't know if you don't know the spelling you cannot uh, locate it forever because hundreds and thousands of pages lakhs of words are there when you come across a difficult word while reading remember the spelling first if you want to refer the dictionary first remember the spelling but the problem arises when you listen to a difficult word that means you are not reading you are listening something you are listening to somebody somebody is speaking you are listening there are there is a word difficult word you identified if you don't know the spelling the problem starts okay you have to guess the spelling of a word first first thing is you have to guess the spelling if you don't guess the spelling you cannot do that so guessing the spelling of a word may lead you to wrong sections of the dictionary if you cannot guess the spelling properly you cannot get it you cannot identify it forever so here one here are the some examples they may lead you wrong way guessing actually the spelling is p s y c h g if you don't know the pronunciation generally you say psyche but you see it is psyche psyche means mind okay not this is g n a t not not g n a t not not okay next repertoire repertoire not repertoire rendezvous not renders was rendezvous okay next it will be difficult to guess the word if it has silent letters in it another problem i s l a n d iceland not iceland island k n u c k l e not knuckle knuckle k silent p s a l m not pselam selam sam sam that is sam devotional song sam okay you can notice two words at the top of each page if you see the dictionary you understand it you can notice two words at the top of each page left and right on the top page page top side okay these words are called guide words these words give you 
an indication of how close you are while locating your word if your word not really not near to the two words so you may not get the correct word. you may not identify the word in that page clear the word you are searching for is between these two guide words now use the second letter of the word to run down the page and locate the word run down the page using these two letters till you find the word you are searching for you can easily locate the word as the words are given in alphabetical order so that is why alphabetical order is very important dictionary without alphabetical order that is nonsense next example how to locate a word just example if you want to find out the meaning of the word syllable first go to s yes section of the dictionary alphabetical s yes. next look at the top of the each page in that section and observe the guide words guide words your word will be between those guide words go to the page with the guide words swap sympathy so in between you get the syllable word okay the word syllable comes between these two words now use the second letter of the word to run down the page and locate the word why is the second letter in the word syllable run down the page using these two letters till you find the word you are searching for you find the word syllable image of a page in oxford learners dictionary in which syllable word is given so guide words and the head word that means syllable i am not giving the picture because of copyright issues okay next here is an activity locate the following words in the dictionary and mention the page number beside the word between the parentheses bracket in this bracket you have to write polytechnic in which page the word is there you have to open the dictionary and identify the word and write the page number you have to do it next pike idiom collocation spelling phonetic countable phrase concise etymology next second one arrange the following words in the alphabetical order alphabetical arranging alphabetical order you know it's very simple machine marriage material marine material mountain market memory muzzle mockery so from all these which word comes first guess so for all words have first letter m some words have first uh, second letter a so the word which has second letter a will come first so here machine marriage material marine material market these words are there then we have to move to third word c machine c marriage or material t marine material market yes exactly we found machine is the first word in the alphabetical order first word comes okay you have to write here next basic uses of dictionary what are the uses of dictionary this question comes if you don't get the previous question in examination then definitely you will get the second question this question there is no uh leaving this is sure question so basic uses of dictionary means what are the benefits of using dictionary first one is how to locate a word dictionary second one is what are the benefits of learning dictionary okay what are the benefits if you use the dictionary if you refer the dictionary what are the things you are you will learn first one is spellings from the dictionary you learn spelling 
you can learn the spelling of the given word in british english if there is a difference in spelling in american english some dictionaries will give the spelling of the same word in american english too example valor in us the spelling is valor v a l o r in british v a l o u r we follow british english not american english so color c o l o u r color c o l o r color is american okay next syllables we learn we learn syllables from the dictionary syllables means the sound a uh, sound of a vowel okay syllable is a unit of sound that consists of a vowel sound in a word it helps us pronounce the word well perfect pronunciation for perfect pronunciation it will help dictionary tells us how a word can be broken into syllables dictionary helps us the syllables are separated with a dot full stop example logically so in this word two syllables are there so the words are separated with dot so logically logically next technical three words three syllables technical technical next quin centenary quin centenary quin centenary are quin centenary quin centenary means 500 years centenary means 100 years quin centenary 500 next pronunciation the pronunciation of a word is given between slant marks in phonetic transcription it tells us how to pronounce the word and its forms if you don't pronounce uh, if you don't uh, spell sound it properly if you don't use correct pronunciation other person may not understand okay that is the problem example genuine charisma genuine charisma next word class dictionary provides the information about the word family or word class that means word class means parts of speech and family division of a word suppose dichotomy dichotomy is a singular word noun plural if you add es ies it becomes plural dichotomies next die 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 that is verb intransitive verb present form die past form died past participle died and uh, present continuous that means present participle is dying tall is adjective positive tall compared to taller superlative tallest long adverb taller sorry long longer longest so this is word class for such speech and its division next meaning the meaning of a word will given will be given in english in a word or a phrase or a sentence meaning of a word will be given in english in a word or a phrase or a sentence bilingual dictionaries give the meaning in the specified language also example talent talent means natural power to do something well preview a uh, view of a film before uh, releasing the film okay next play etc before it is shown to the general public next activity four 
use the dictionary a dictionary and give the above mentioned features of the following words above mentioned mentioned the features means spelling syllable syllables pronunciation word class meaning so you have to give all the details to the following words the words are phrase etymology illustration native accumulate these are the words i have given here one model example remaining you have to do phrase phrase pronunciation phrase f r e that is phrase word class is noun singular is phrase plural is phrases next grammatical meaning a sequence of two or more words arranged in a grammatical construction and acting as a unit in a sentence example uses that means example a memorable catchy phrase next is synonyms phrase synonyms term phrase expression idiom next origin mid 16th century in the sense style or manner of expression by a late latin from greek phrases from phrasein phrase means declare tell next write the details of the word class and family division of the following words clever simple formula forget child so family division and word class i explained just it. so suppose clever clever is word class is adjective so its family is words are clever is adjective clever positive clever are compared to clever is superlative so origin middle english in the sense of to, to catch hold and uh, related to cleave to stick to something next third one how many syllables do the following words have mention the number beside the word between the parentheses so sleep sleep has only one syllable okay bamboo bamboo two communication communication five insist two eliminate eliminate four visitor three occupation four imagine three politician four lavish so if you have some more words wants to check their syllables you can check them directly in the given website link here i have given say i am sharing website link how many syllables.com www.howmanysyllables.com website is there only for syllables purpose next what is syllable syllable is a unit of pronunciation having one vowel sound with or without surrounding consonants maybe consonants are there or not okay leave it forming the whole or a part of a word for example there are two syllables in water and three in inferno inferno is hell next activity 5 identify the words for the following description identify the words here the description is given that means reverse dictionary this is called a reverse dictionary a piece of glass or glass like substance with one or both sides curved curved means neatly <coughs> removed with a sharp knife or something for use in spectacles cameras telescopes and other optical instruments so mirror lens tube illuminators all are glasses okay but specifically which one suitable lens okay thick sweet liquid made from sugar cane juice or by boiling sugar with water so that is called juice beverage syrup honey you know all beverage means uh, maybe alcohol or cold drinks something so juice is the right answer next faint half light before sunrise or after sunset faint means uh, light 
light of light so that is called bright sunshine darkness twilight twilight is the right answer next having the tendency to go back to the normal or previous size or shape after being pulled or pressed elastic plastic rubber stretch so the suitable word is elastic substance obtained during the manufacture of some other substance so suppose uh, take one example of uh, a wood wood if you want to make tables uh, windows uh, doors you need wood so before cutting into suitable shape while cutting the wood you get some uh, particles powder powder like wood so that is called second product so substance obtained during the manufacture of some other substance so residue precipitation mixture by product the correct answer is by product okay sugar sugar uh, jaggery jaggerin uh, sugar uh, some other pulp something everything so they come all one by one next movable part of the helmet covering the face belt glass visor cover you know glass is right answer okay next advanced functions of a dictionary what are the or functions of dictionary so first from the dictionary we get usage we are uh, from advanced dictionaries we get usage some if you use small dictionary standard dictionary you may not get all the things whatever i am going to tell but advanced learners dictionary oxford like dictionary you get all these things functions first one is usage suppose you know die word die means death okay like that you have to use in a sentence if you use in a sentence correctly you will learn it proper so here you can find several examples on how to use a word in a phrase or a sentence example pedal pedal cyclists pedal boats so the boy pedaled away on his tricycle next collocation so some words come generally with some other combining words so it's a sequence of two or more words that go together generally they come together you should learn collocations to make your english sound fluent and natural suppose beauty example word beauty collocations with the word beauty are beauty queen beauty contest beauty parlor beauty spot beauty sleep in that way next other forms of the word so other forms means you can find other parts of speech forms of the given word adjective adverb preposition conjunction noun in that way suppose periodic periodic the two forms of this word are periodical adjective and periodically adverb other forms die is word death is word die and death death is noun die is verb in that way happy this word has two forms happily is adverb happiness is noun next etymology so etymology you can find the origin of the word with the important details like language from which this word originated and the period in which it originated it also provides the information about the way in which its meanings have changed throughout history 
So three, three to four points are mentioned here etymology. So origin from which language it was first originated? In which period? In 16th century, 17th century, 18th century, 14th century, 12th century? In which century? In which year? Around year. It also provides information about the way which in which its meanings have changed throughout history. Sometimes meanings will be changed from one to another. Example, bandicoot. Origin is from a Telugu word, pandikokku, in late 18th century. So Britishers came to India and some came to Andhra. You know, Andhra also under the colonization of British. So first time they observed one animal. So they asked, they asked what it is, the native people, Telugu people. They said, pandikokku. So the British is unable to pronounce correctly. Instead of pandikokku, they said pandikut, bandikut. So in that way, bandikut entered into the dictionary as pandikokku. Next, phaizamas. Phai, phai, phai means leg. Phaizama, phaizama, phai, phai, phai. In Urdu, phai means leg. Pai is an Urdu word and Jama is clothing. So it is a Persian word. This word has been originated in early 19th century. Okay, next, uh, phrasal verbs. You can find phrasal verbs also in a dictionary. Phrasal verb is a phrase consisting of a verb and another element, typically either an adverb or a preposition or both. These phrases give a new meaning other than the meaning of the individual words. So, if you see the word individually, it gives one meaning. If you connect them, then the meaning will be changed. New meaning will come. So, suppose example, verb plus adjective. Example, verb plus adjective. Go is verb, ahead is adverb. Go ahead, make progress, proceed without hesitation. Next, verb plus preposition. Get plus through. Get through, get the individual meaning one different and through individual meaning is another one different. But if you combine get and through, it becomes get through. The new meaning is pass. Next, verb plus adverb plus preposition. Play around with. Play around with. The three has different meanings individually. But if you combine them, it has a new meaning. The meaning is to consider various ways of doing something before choosing one. Next, idioms. These are phrases or expressions which have figurative meaning. Figurative meaning. These idioms give a meaning which is different from the literal definition. Literal. Actual meaning is different. Assumpted meaning. Uh, the idiom, idiomatic meaning is different. So the literal meaning is different. So literal definition of the individual words. It is a manner of speaking that is natural to native speakers of a language. Example, can't judge a book by its cover. You see this, this sentence phrase in a aerial advertisement, aerial washing powder advertisement. Uh, they say, yes, okay, we can establish fast, uh, establish one fa factory here but there is no one here to speak English, good English. Then one girl comes, excuse me, sir, don't judge the book by its cover. So remember it, remember the example, advertisement. So can't judge a book by its cover. The actual meaning is different to idiomatic meaning. 
so cannot judge something primarily on appearance don't come to judgment don't judge anything with the, with the appearance just watching it yes he is uh, innocent don't say he is innocent just watching him maybe he is a uh, very criminal notorious criminal okay next let the cat out of the bag that means to share information that was previously concealed concealed means hidden next apart from the above functions dictionaries sometimes give illustrations synonyms antonyms labels like obsolete archaic colloquial slang etc next activity 6 use a dictionary and give the meanings of the following idioms use them in your own sentences you have to get the meaning idiomatic meaning and you have to use your own sentence see here have swallowed a dictionary wild goose chase hit the sack once in a blue moon storm in a teacup fit as a fiddle so i have given one example to use an extensive vocabulary especially by incorporating common words in one speech he has followed dictionary that means he speaks fluently in english he uses words spontaneously okay you can get answers you uh, from uh, the website you are given idioms dot the free dictionary dot com you can get the meanings and extra examples some more you can check them next find out the etymological information of the following words avatar bangla committee decoit nirvana jungle grass so to get the etymological information of the words you can directly uh, online you can check them them online website etymo etymon et e t y m etymo online etymo online.com www etymo online.com so i give you one example avatar avatar is a noun in 1784 a descent of hindu deity to earth in a incarnate or a tangible form from sanskrit avatarana descent of a deity to the earth in incarnate form from ava means off down from pie root a off away plus base of tarati that means he crosses over from pie root tere cross over pass through overcome meaning concrete embodiment of something abstract he is from 1815 in computer use it seems to trace the novel snow crash 1992 by neil stephenson next write the other parts of speech forms of the following words other parts of speech normal normal is noun as well as adjective in that way restrict punctual manage fault furtive trivial in that so to get the other parts of speech easily you can go online website wordsmith.net next tips regarding this chapter read the introduction immediately after buying a dictionary if you have the dictionary just immediately open it and read the introduction what they says use a different dictionaries at different stages when you are in the 8th class 9th class use one kind of dictionary when you are intermediate stage use another kind of dictionary when you are studying diploma that means engineering course use it is a separate uh, dictionary and when you are studying uh, medicine you can use a different in that way when you are studying law use law dictionary next don't use the dictionary too much this is very important try to guess meaning from context as much as you can and then use your dictionary to confirm your guesses afterwards first guess the meaning then confirm it 
but don't open immediately every time that is wrong next learn how to use an online dictionary how to check online websites okay next update your online dictionary at regular intervals to know the latest entries online dictionary or offline dictionary or mobile app, apps a computer web, 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 softwares you have to web. every year they update and they enter new words every dictionaries oxford dictionary is something long like that do not try to guess the pronunciation of the word don't do this just before i said do, don't check dictionary every time but here don't try to guess the pronunciation of the word yourself learn it from a standard dictionary next assignment listen to the news in english and pick out any 10 difficult words and phrases guess the spelling of those words and locate them in your dictionary and uh, maintain one separate notebook for uh, vocabulary and write them write the pronunciation parts of speech you meaning usage collocations origin word origin everything write them and every now and then refer them every day next assignment to read the following aesop's fables fable stories animal stories moral stories aesop's fables and note down the difficult words and phrases use a dictionary and write down the basic and advanced uses of those words here i have given i will share the file pdf file along with this video so download it and open it and refer study read them and identify the words the difficult words and note it in your notebook and refer dictionary and write the meanings parts of speech word class origin everything so the first one is the eagle and the arrow second the swallow and the other birds the frogs the desiring a king in that way okay i think all of you understood what i explained in this chapter so once again if you do not understand please repeat it again and again understand it and write down the write down all activities in your notebook not only activities the main advantages of dictionary uses of dictionary uh, how to locate a word in a dictionary all these things you have to write in your notebook learn them practice them whatever i explain the activities and still if you have any doubts when i come to the live session and definitely you can ask me i will clarify them until then i will take leave now thank you very much bye